Hello and welcome to a quick overview of the OSI layer 3, the network layer. And so the network layer is basically all about packets and logical addressing. The packet refers to the PDU of the OSI layer. Of course you have at layer 1 you have bits, at layer 2 you have frames, and at layer 3 you have packets. So some terms that you need to be familiar with in this domain, unicast, is basically a communication between one and one. And you'll have to forgive the goofy artwork here. Multicast, of course, is going to be one to many. This is easy to memorize because the word multi and many, or multi, one to multiple, one to many, easy association there. And then you have broadcast, which is, of course, broader than a uni or a multicast where you have one to all. Some characteristics of IP version four, the logical addressing. We have class A, class B, and class C networks. It's a, basically a set of four numbers separated by a dot. And this is the logical address of a host. The numbers in each octet are between zero and 255, but zero and 255 aren't used for hosts. So a class A network, the first octet is going to be between 0 and 127. The remaining are for hosts. Class B network is going to be 128 through 191. And then this second octet as well. And then your last two octets are going to be for hosts. A class C network, you have these ranges for the first three octets. And then the last octet is for hosts credit where it's due. This little diagram came from computernetworkingnotes.com. So thank you for that. IP version 6, some characteristics of it. You have a 128-bit address field. You have improved quality of service. And you have the inherent IP security. Protocols at layer 3 would be the I protocols, which are IGMP and ICMP. And I believe it was Kelly Handerhan from Cyberary that mentioned that the only, at least for the exam, the only I protocol that would not belong in layer three would be something like IMAP, I believe. And then you have this one, open shortest path first. And so the devices that we have at layer three are gonna be firewalls and routers. And you're basically gonna have things that are rule-based. So something that uses an access control list or an ACL. Thanks again to everyone who has supported the site. If you'd like some difficult practice questions, head over to cissprep.net, where we have over 1,200 questions to practice with, and our interface is very similar to the exam. As I've mentioned before in other videos, we do this in our spare time. We don't even do this for our CPEs. We really feel that the tools that are out there currently don't really prepare candidates for the exam experience. And so if you want a real exam experience in terms of difficulty and and the timing and how it how it all works. If you want a real exam experience, head over to cissprep.net. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.